CNN's Chrissy Lou Stout joins us now live from Hong Kong with more. AUKUS, it's a, it's a very difficult, I guess, very memorable, I guess, name for this alliance. But yeah. already there is a reaction we're hearing from China, and it's pretty much what you'd expect. Yes, China has reacted angrily to this new security pact between the U.S., U.K., and Australia, saying that the three countries should, quote, shake off their Cold War mentality, unquote. Now, on Wednesday, the three countries announced this joint security partnership for the Indo-Pacific region, which would allow the three countries to work together in terms of cyber, in terms of advanced technology like AI and quantum computing, and also to help Australia acquire a nuclear-powered submarine. Um, U.S. President Joe Biden and the other leaders involved went out of their way to emphasize that this is not a nuclear-armed submarine, but a nuclear-powered submarine, but nonetheless will be conventionally armed. The U.S. President Joe Biden has said that the aim of this is to ensure peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region in the long term, but the Chinese they see otherwise. They see this as being a deeply provocative move. Let's bring up a statement for you. It's from a spokesperson of China's embassy in Washington, D.C. And Liu Pengyu says this, quote, that countries should not build exclusionary blocks targeting or harming the interests of third parties. In particular, they should shake off their Cold War mentality and ideological prejudice, unquote. Now, John, this is the latest step by the U.S. and its allies to counter the rising power, military and technological power of China. We know that next week um, the U.S. will host an in-person summit of the Quad. This is the security alliance involving the U.S. as well as Japan, Australia and India, widely seen as a counterpoint to China in the region. This also follows his recent visits by U.S. leaders, including Vice President Kamala Harris, who recently engaged allies here in the region like Singapore and Vietnam. But make no mistake about it, analysts are saying that this moment, the announcement of this new security bloc, is a very significant moment in the timeline of U.S.-China relations as well as security in the region. Take a listen to this. I think it's very significant uh, if you look at the withdrawal of the US and its allies from Afghanistan. The justification for doing that, or at least one of the main justifications, was a need to focus on the Indo-Pacific region. And of course, everyone understands that's about China. It's clearly setting down markers. It's setting down uh, the case that the US won't stand by and allow China to assert dominance over the region um, at the expense of the region's uh, security and freedoms uh, and liberties. Now, as tensions rise, U.S. and China at the top level are still talking. As you remember last week, you had that phone call between U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping, a 90-minute call, the first time that they talked directly to one another in, um, in about seven months. U.S. officials say that it was frank, it was candid, but they also said that there was no mention of this new security pact. Back to you, John. Christy, thank you. Christy Lustout, live for us there in Hong Kong.